Hey everybody, Wafjis here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, uh, I'm looking at the, the absolute mess this is currently in, and I've come to the decision that this is episode 88, I believe, um, and let's say that by episode 90, the situation has not drastically improved, I will end this, I will end the series, because at the moment it's sort of just, it's dragging on, I'm not enjoying it anymore, so that means I'm not, like, not gonna be as entertaining to watch, I imagine, so, yeah, I'll give it till then, and we'll see, if I can't, if I can bring it back, and there's a great recovery, I will definitely continue playing it, if it continues to get worse, and random bits of my empire sort of just leave, without any sort of permission or ability for me to stop them, uh, so just Siadaya, Itil, Sarkel that just went, that I was in the middle of an independence war, and they're still, like, independent, and I've, it's not over yet, uh, if that keeps happening, I'll, I'll end the series and I'll move on to another one. So, I've already got a few ideas in mind. But anyway, for now, we're still with this. So, I'm going to up my uh, improved keeps, I think, and castle infrastructure. Culturally, I'll go up to legalism there. Just so that... I'm, I'm also going to go with majesty, I think, and noble customs. Just try and keep everyone as happy as can be. I can't change any laws at the moment because I'm in many civil wars. I've got a Nestorian uprising up there. I've got my this little thing going on over here, and I can't kill her because she's got 43 troops, apparently. And she's not leading any of them. This guy, apparently, in Oleshi. Where is Oleshi again? I know it's nearby. I just can't be bothered trying to find it. Oleshi is there. So I think if I kill... If I manage... I'm going to like disband all my levies and then raise everyone up again. So I have got 7,000 troops, which is not a, not a poor amount against any sort of rebe rebels. Against the empires to myself, it's not anything of any use whatsoever. But against 46 guys, I think 7,000 will do. Um, I'm going to... I have just put in mind. You want marrying off to someone. You have a, you're a genius. I will marry you myself. You're my granddaughter. Why not? Yep. Sacred Union. We formed a sacred union pleasing to Jesus. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to have Golden Piety or Piety and Prestige. I'm going to go with Piety and Prestige, I think. For the Prestige. Uh, I've not found anyone suitable. Except for, you know, myself. And yeah, it's, it's, some would say it's a bit odd to marry the daughter of the of your your granddaughter who was born to the son that you had blinded and then died from complications of being blinded. Um, but I wouldn't. I'd say it's it's true love, really, if you think about it in a really fucked up way. Now, uh, yeah, so I'm going to slowly kill these 46 guys. 100% war score. Fantastic. Right, so she's already lost most of her land. So what happens now? I can't end the war because she's got all her stuff occupied by these hordes of troops. So I'm going to have to go and take the fight to them now, aren't I? So that's fine. We've got 8,000 troops here. I could do something with this. So let's see if I can group here and go and fight them. I need to sort of defeat them or she's going to lose. She's in it's weird. She's independent. They all went independent. So I think the game might actually be glitched here because uh no, ignore that. So yeah, she's maimed as well, which is interesting, but yeah, so she's independent, but she's still rebelling against me. It's almost like it's gone back to the way it used to be when rebels, when factions fought. You're defending, I hope. Yes, you are defending. 5,000 troops versus 29,000. Why have you lost all your troops? Not sure how that's happened, but yes, I'll help you. I'll try to anyway. We'll see exactly how much help I can be. Oh, another, another raving bob of infidels. Fantastic. That's what I need. Right, we'll group in Kasogia just because I don't want to get too close to that army before I'm fully formed. So just, it's currently trying to do because they're not absolute morons. So they want to crush mine, my forces before I can group up, which makes perfect sense. I will get away though. So I'll go through there all the way to Kasogia. It's a long way around, but it's safest. So they should get away, no problem. Um, and then I'll be able to turn around to crush them. Continue on fight the Cumans who are occupying the land. It's no longer really, really mine anymore. But I can't take it back until I've defeated them. And I'm not even sure if that will let me have it back. I'm very confused about what's happened. 
very, very odd. I haven't come across this before, but it does seem like the old factions where they'd all have their own, they're all basically independent and it was great when you were attacking them because you could just attack them independently and their allies would occasionally get involved. And then they obviously, they, they changed that to make it so they're um, empire level. And there's a, I remember there was a little bit of a sort of a controversy about that. People were like, oh, that doesn't make any sense. They're not going to band together. It's just like, well, they, yeah, but apart from game balance, it also sort of makes sense. Like, the successful rebellions, such as um, like the Barons' War against King John, the one that made the no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I'm talking about no, 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 no. I'm getting confused now. Um, well, the Barons' War anyway that got the Magna Carta that was under one le one sort of leadership. But there was also I'm thinking of Simon de Montfort um, with the Articles of Oxford um, against Edward the no. It was against. Edward the First's dad, who I think I can't remember his name, but either way, um, he was a particularly strong leader, and he managed to. He was like, there's lots of sort of propaganda about him now. About if you've if, in in the certain circles, he's not really like a folk hero in some in most of the world. But De Montfort was standing up against tyranny. No, he wasn't. He was he was he had some like he had some good ideas about like the king shouldn't be able to just do what he wants. But it was mainly because the, the king was getting in the way of what he wanted to do. It was, there, there's not, like, people try and apply so much sort of historical theory to past events and just go, oh, well, see, because of that and this and, yeah, Marxism. It's just like, it's not Marxism. It's not nationalism. It's not, nothing like that. None of that existed. It was just people having their own reasons that we're now, like, posthumously applying to certain things. But I've gone a little bit of a rant there. I didn't mean to do that. But, yeah, basically, lots of rebellions have had lots of strong rulers before so it's not entirely unlikely and that was completely unrelated to anything else happening in the game so i'm going to rush this down even though i can't actually win the war yet because i need to unoccupy all this land because it's currently occupied by someone else because let me see i can't do it can i nope none of yeah so if we go and fight this army kill the lords of the sky uh how is her war going 34 percent in favor of the khan so if I wipe out this force, that might be able to help. So that's, yeah. So if I occupy these two bits of land here, I'll be able to win. So that's what I'll do. Oh, that army's going to come and kill that army, so I'm going to disband this army. And it's safe. It's safe. Back at the home. And there's a Catholic up... Where is that? Oh, of course, in Spain. Cool. Fair enough. So Sarkel randomly controls Kuma, which is really annoying. Uh, what the hell... Smolensk's uh, coat of arms is pretty amazing. Look at that. So good. But unfortunately, I'm not Smolensk, so I'm not, I don't care. Now, I'm going to rush this down once I have the chance. Okay, cool. So then we'll go here, and we'll take this. There's two holdings here, so I'll need to destroy... I'll well, take them. They will get away. Then into Pachenik. And a Decadence Revolt. Fantastic. Where's the Decadence Revolt? Uh, 25,000 troops versus 22,000 troops. Ooh! You know what I was saying earlier about uh, there being a massive turnaround that I can take advantage of? Yeah, that could that could do it. They win their Decadence Revolt for like the first time that in since the Shavens first took power. That would be nice, but except I'm now no longer in a position to take advantage of it. I was uh, like 10, 20 episodes ago when I was like undisputed ruler and I'd taken, I'd taken on the Persians and won. And I'd taken on the Byzantines and won. And now it's just, it's in, internal divisions and all sorts have happened, and it's all just very sad. Oh, oh well. Well, I'm going to risk it and rush this down, hoping that that army's not going to turn up in time to do anything. Um, so now I should be able to enforce... To None of Duchess Vosky's hold holdings are occupied by the Khan. Oh! That's occupied. Cool. Army of Boris. Are you defending against Boris? You're not defending against Boris. Why is Boris involved? Uh, no, you're just defending. Fine, cool. That's fine. So we will um, march into Uzen. Occupy that holding. Hope that this lot here won't get uppity and start doing stuff I don't want them to do. And then hopefully 
crush this rebellion in in its own special way. It's sort of independent. They've, they're independent now. That's what they wanted. So there we go. Let's see what happens now. She's back. But the others aren't. So you are a traitorous whore. And I'm going to replace you with someone who's not a traitorous whore. You despise me. Why do you despise me? Oh, you're a heretic and zealous. That's why. Um, no one's content. I'm just going to leave you to rot. So, there we go. So, I've crushed a rebellion, which is nice. Uh, can I... I'm going to have to go and crush... I'm going to have to disband this army, I think. Probably for the best. And then unite again and go and crush these guys over here. I'll need my full forces, I think. Just, just I don't want to give them the chance to win. Now, I don't have any claims on this, which is the annoying thing. And in, winning at a, a def Losing to an independence faction means I get claims on them. But... As it is, I don't. I have no claims on any of that land. I can't get it back. Which is a tad annoying, I have to say. North England is still making me happy, though. So if, as, long, as long as I keep looking over to Western Europe, I'm immediately cheered up. So that's fine. Uh, the Byzantines are probably winning. They are winning. I'll do what I can, but I don't think I'll be able to hold them off. Not with my sort of numbers. Not, not compared to their numbers, either. Ah, uh, oh well. So... All my forces are gathering in Sar and Tanner, so that's fine. Um, I do want to recover Sarkel. I probably have claimants that I can land or something. Nope, no one wants to come to my court, so that's that's a non-starter right there. Siodaya, um is probably the same issue. Yep, no one wants to leave, come to me, because they're all heathens. They haven't been established long enough to have many claimants I can take advantage of. And what is this? Is this a holy war? Yes. Yes, it is. They are going to lose. And they'll convert to Catholicism, which is really annoying because I wanted them to convert to Missalian, but who cares really anymore? So, yes. Yeah, Smolensk is occupied by Vol Volnia? Vol Volhenia, I think it is. Who's apparently Polish, which is quite satisfying. Um, we are all going to gather here and then we're going to go on a massive, lovely walk all the way up to the north. They have a river crossing between... Kiev, Turov, Chernigov, and Minsk. Kiev, Chernigov, Turov, and Minsk. So if I go to Roslavl or Mistislavl, I should have no problem crossing, well, not crossing a river, because there isn't a river, and then uh, crushing the army, because I have more troops. And they'll mostly be, yeah, light infantry. Light infantry are trash. It's probably one of the main reasons I haven't gone for the Mali culture. Well, actually, no, that's probably not true. I've. It's never been the main reason. I've never really thought about it. It's a bit of a it's, it's out of the way. It'd be, it's interesting. I'd kind of consider it at some point. But the retinues for Mali, um, if you're not aware, is basically 500 light infantry. Not sure why you'd want that, other than just for numbers. But, yeah. You want... What do you want? You want Duchy of Alania. Uh, he is just greedy. Sorry, mate. That's not going to happen. Because my daughter needs to take over. And my grandson's still alive, and he's still... Uh, Messalian, which is all great. If only he was zealous. If he was zealous, that would be much better. Because not only would he then stop plotting against his own liege, which is always nice, um, he might have actually been able to do something. He's not managed to convert any of his land. I hope that maybe with a brief stint in Messalian rulership that Messalian would actually take root. That would be nice. Like Catholicism usually does whenever anyone marries into the Byzantine Empire. You want to lower crown authority. So who have we got here? We've got Semenda. No surprise there. He's constant pain in the backside. Kasogia and Elenia. You obviously dislike me because I control your title. Um, who else? Yergalik. Oh yeah, because I've just told you no. Good God. Well, I don't want to give them a, a Dutch title because then they control... Uh, I should destroy one of these then. No. Uh, because then they control one of the votes for the next ruler. I don't want that to go to anyone when I don't have... Uh, when I have such a high stake in the game. So I'm going to go to Bryansk and now then, then to Chernigov. Let her rot. In fact, I'm going to blind her. Ransom. I could ransom for money. I don't really need the money. Uh, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blind you. Sorry. And you've been released. It's a bit irritating. 
Well, this will stop you from being a bitch. Maybe. Probably not. So I had to lear back now, so I'm going to go and try and catch... I'm sorry, I'm going to cross the river, aren't I? That's what's going to happen here, because... Oh, no, they're going to keep running. It's then to Paris level, so we'll go down to Paris level 2. They will probably get away. 20th, 17th. No, no, I'll catch them. I don't want to catch them. Now they'll leave. Cool. So we're going to go try and catch them now. I didn't want to cross the river, the major river crossing. Um... Because I, I probably, even though the light infantry, it's always a chance that they'll hold and then mine will break, which would obviously be terrible because light infantry, I think, are actually half decent at chasing routed units. So I'd probably lose a lot. Now, in this, yeah, look at the numbers. They're just dropping. Even before they started routing, they, they've got, they're very bad. Unless they've been changed recently, but from my own experience, they're not very good anyway. So this guy's going to lose his war. What's it for? Strymon. So he's going to lose that. It's a shame, but what can you do? He's three years old, which is obviously unfortunate for his rulership. I'll end this lovely stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to blind you. I'm going to castrate you, actually. Goodbye. And then I'm going to imprison you. It's considered tyrannical. Why? He's a heretic, and he just attacked me. Ah, well. I suppose it's because I've already castrated him. There's, a, there's only so much I can do. Ah, well. So, I am hostile to the Byzantines for many reasons. Hungary is now sort of split now. Have they, they've taken... Yes, Morav Greater Moravia is no longer their primary title. And they are losing... They're invading Bavaria. Ungvar is a big deal right now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so they're they're big right now. Um in terms of who I can target next, mm, I might actually start going north again. Just because I can't go against that, or at least I might start trying to recover this land. I've your claim on Kuma. Um I I'm disappointed I've got no claimants that I can get involved. I can't move this guy to start fabricating claims because they need to stay down here, otherwise the Abbasid Caliph is just going to wreck me. He's not got any war score with that. He's got so much decadence. 1.4 a month. He might actually struggle. So, yeah, I'm going to start holding and warring my way north. I think, if I can get any decent amount of land. Karamissia, Mordva is a decent amount of land there, to be fair. But in terms of places I can... I, Rus and... Ruthenia, obviously part of Perm, but part of Perm, uh, part of Russia, which I could go for as a empire. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, I think actually no. I'm going to go west against Hungary. I'm going to take Transylvania like I originally intended to. Hang on, let me just check. 663 versus 9,000. I should be fine. Just because last time I did it and then. Didn't really look at the numbers and lost massively. So, yeah. He's involved in a, a disastrous invasion, I think. Yes. No, he's winning. How is he winning with that few troops? How are you losing with that many troops? Oh, no, that is him. I got completely confused. Yeah, they, of course they're winning. They've got 900... <laughs> they've barely got any troops. Of course they're going to lose. What am I talking about? So, we'll get, we'll head over here. And we'll gather troops. And then next episode, we'll probably start the actual invasion itself. I am already depressed. Maybe if I pretend to push them off the walls. Okay. Maybe he'll stop hating. Maybe he'll stop uh, being being cowardly. You know, when I've almost threatened to kill him. So there we go. The Byzantine Empire has expanded slightly a little bit more. Which is great, as we all know. Because why not... I've got a... Who the hell has a claim on the Byzantine Empire? Her. Um, my son, who's not obviously going to come to my claim. So that was that would be it. Her. Actually, she does have a strong claim. How are my allies? Uh, we're not going to... We won't be able to do anything about that. I don't think he's going to recover his, his levies pretty quick. Look at that. Yeah. So... Maybe when I've stockpiled enough money like I did last time, I'll be able to overwhelm them with... with um... And you are a twat. That's what you're doing. That, that's what you are. You're a bellend. 
I mean, can I kill you? No. I'm going to try and kill you. There we go. So, yes, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to engage you in theological debate because, sod that, you are not going to be orthodox. And I will see you next time.